right, all right. So, uh, all right. Well, we 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 chopped it up a little bit about uh about the background. Where where where's the man at? Is he parked yet or what? What's up? Let me see. Let me call him again. He's gonna be so mad to have me. Oh no, we no. I had a good time with that. Uh, with with with, with your background conversation, so we good. The bro man ain't answered his phone, so I don't know. He is oh. gonna be so. Oh, okay. Hurt well, that he's looking. Oh well. He'll he'll catch it. He'll he'll catch it on the podcast. I'll I'll send you the link and you yeah. can send it to him. Be like, yo. I was on the Lockout Man okay. podcast show. Where were you? Damn it, man. I was parking the truck. Okay. The person that, is, that told me about you. That's so he's the first person that he was like. Well, shout out. All them what, what's, go ahead and shout out his name, man. What, what's his name? My nephew is Adol. He, what his name now? Nice. He's Muslim. Adol. Adol toys. But his Ad- name is Ernest. Ernest, all right, shout, all right. His name is Ernest. Ernest, I'll call him Ernest, shout out, shout out yeah. to you, man. Thank you very much for uh, supporting <laughs> the Lockout Man podcast channel. I really do appreciate <laughs> it, bro. All right, so Kiki, man, you um, you decided to get into trucking, and uh, you uh, yeah. you 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 went by way of school. Um, you came more into sheet yeah. trucking. You came more into. You found the sheet trucking trucking group. Uh, shout out, shout out to uh, the sheet trucking oh, yeah. trucking group. Right. Um, yes, I and, love her. I always watch her videos. Yeah. And you came in, and you was kind of uh, you was kind of upset. So let's talk about that. You, you got by the sound by the looks of your posts. Uh, looks like you got what a I'm gonna assume a small school, maybe about two, three weeks, and and within that within that two, three weeks, you you felt that the training was inadequate. Tell us about it. Yes, yes. Um, what I did at first, uh, you know, with my nephew, I went and we we researched. He told me to go ahead and research and look at all these companies. First, I was going to Mega Carriers. I had spoken to Swift, Roel. Snyder um, and Prime and uh, McLean. Those are the five companies that I looked at and I just made the decision that I did not want to just jump up and leave everything, you know, and just go on a whim without really knowing whether I'll have a license at the end of the, the time that I would be at school. So I moved on to say, okay, let me go ahead and try. And I went to 160. I forgot the name of the rest. It's called 160. Went over to them too, and it was kind of like the same deal. So I decided to save up a little bit of money and say, let me just try to find a local school. I always would see this one school driving by my house or whatever, called them, called several others. They were so, they were too expensive for me. So I called one of the county places that did Class B for a bus driver, and he gave me just the name of a person. He said, I know someone. So he was like, I know somebody, you know. So this was not at from. It was not an official company that I from our company has trucks that can teach me. That's how it started. So I called the guy, had a very long conversation with him, he, very long, and it was very good. And I was like, wow, he had, he took the time out to tell me to talk about the trucking industry and why it was so great to get in the trucking industry, period. And whether I chose him or not, it's the best decision you'll make in your life. That's that's the conversation that we had. They they always um, they, they, they always say that. I mean they, they, I, I wish somebody somebody please just really be honest. Don't I mean don't don't just say, oh, it's the best decision you ever make in your life because that decision for you might not correlate to the decision for, you know, for the person that's coming in. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. luckily for me that was never, you know, thrown in my face, but of course everybody in the in the in the Facebook group, uh YouTube gurus, mm-hmm. trucking gurus and, you know, TikTok TikTok truckers that's making trucking look like it's motherfucking game to get in. Yeah, it's the best decision you're going to ever make in your life. Well, how how do you know that's going to be the best decision they make in their life? I mean, they get into it and they might not like it. So, yeah, go ahead mm-hmm. and continue. 
true. That's true. Um, so, um, some time went by with these other companies and they didn't get back with me in time, but then he ended up getting back with me in the right time. For me to come down, I went down, met him in the lot with a couple other folks. Hadn't paid a dime yet. Oh, no, I'm not. No, take that back. I had given him all my information. And then, no, I hadn't paid a dime. I gave him all my information and went down there for the first training. We did one, uh, one free trip with the group that I was with, walked around the truck and uh, paid a master after the lesson. And then that was our start. So, but what I noticed was that, first of all, it was like three or four people there for one truck. It was no other trucks, no other trainers or anything like that. Finally got the name of the company. And when I looked up the company, it didn't have good reviews. So I was just like, dang. Wow. But I, you know, I felt that was, that was the downfall because I did not vet this company out before I took them because I was so frustrated going through all these, all these companies, you know, and, and calling so many people all over Virginia. I made so many calls, but he seemed the one that was closer to me where I live and um, than everyone and for the right, for the price that I was looking for. So, was, was, so, so if you, let's just say you, 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 you just said that you paid them after the first pre-trip, but this was that an opportunity for you to walk away from it and be like, well, no, this ain't for me. Or did you still have to pay him for his time for, you know, for his time or whatever? That was an opportunity, but I did not pay attention to, I did, first of all, I did not know what and what I should have expected. And I think that was the crazy part of it that I did not investigate to, to look at total expectations. Since I'm so new, you know, new new to trucking, and um, I just gave that, you know, it was just a benefit of that. It was just a surface thing, you know, at first, right? But right. as I kept going, you know, I noticed that the 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 um, the training was like one week and on and off, you know, one week on and off. This week, that week, it was sporadic. This day on a Saturday, and I was like, okay, maybe if he's trying to get his schedule together, you know, I'm giving the company the benefit of doubt too much. That's what, that was my fault. I do believe that. When I started driving, it was no real technique given to us. It was just like, you know, he'll tell you something one time, and then the rest of the time is yelling. <laughs> you know? Nah, that's that's not you that's know? that's not good training right there. That's I think yeah. I, I think what do trying I I think what do was doing, and you know what the the the. The new FMCSA rules, uh, with that's with mm -hmm. that in effect, would would pretty much mm -hmm. stop, you know, guys like him from training good people like you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm Thank not, you. Yeah. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock you or anything like that. You was just frustrated. I mean, you you was just frustrated. You tried your hand at all oh, these yeah. mega carriers and they turned you all down don't understand why because they over here pumping out bs anyway but they you know they turned you down and you you just felt like look i really want to get in the industry and i get it you know what i'm saying i, I really want to get in the industry i want to try my hand and you know you you just found you, you know you just found the bump pretty much and yeah so yep. there was always an excuse so you know, excuse of why mm-hmm mm -hmm. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, it was just always, it started to get, I started to get comfortable. I finally had gotten the backing. And it was another student that gave me the nugget to, to, to for it to click. It takes something for it to click in your head because, first of all, you're driving two vehicles, not one. And it's showing driving no car because left is, right is left and left is right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you're not, you're, it, it's different. You know, and um, I, you know, one of the students gave me some nuggets on how to back on how to get my backing together. And after he told me that one day I got back. So I was like, something is disconnected between me and you because you're not giving the information is not flowing to me correctly. But it was another student that was and he pulled me to the side too. this student that pulled me to the side. He was like, don't pay attention to nothing. When he started telling me, don't think he said, dude, he said, you're doing fine. He was telling the student was telling me this, but I know what the student knows. But 
he was like, you were in, you were in the, in the box, you know, and he will say stuff like that. But then the instructor's telling me, oh, you, you get that offset, but um, the front end is crooked. And I was like asking, could I, you know, get out of the parking lot and get into the street to try to dry this fish, you right. know? And, I, you know, and it seemed like he had an excuse every time I was trying to get out. And then with practices coming so far and few between, you kind of lose the skill, you know, once you've done it once. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is stressed out for, for this is the third month. And I have not gotten out of, out of the parking lot. I'm watching other people get out of the parking lot. Third and month? Then, or third this is month? the third month. And you have every other and you, and you haven't yeah. you 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 haven't did you haven't did no no, no road driven. driven or nothing like that I, no road no road okay we, no we road. okay we so need to, like, we, we need what? to get this we we need to get this guy out here what I, I'm sorry what's what's the name of the uh, what's what's I can't what, tell, wait ooh, I can't tell you uh, I can't tell so you I, still not, you still in you still there I'm still um I would say this okay. My test was supposed to be scheduled. I was taken off of the the schedule. I had took off of work and all that for my road my road test. But I believe he made an excuse not to put me up for my road test because he had other students that he had to to attend to and moved my road test and never told me until I spoken had spoken to him about it. Like I'm getting ready to do this road. I better get out on the road. You know, I don't care if I am crooked or whatever in these boxes today. But he knows that I that I have done it before, and then I've seen other people in this group that can't back up, but you took them out on the road, you know. So how 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 much how much longer you think you 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 got with him? Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going in. A, I'm, I'm going in. A, the, oh, yeah. there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So how, how much how, how much longer you 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 got with this guy? Well, I don't have I, I'm not, I don't have long for him at all because I Swift just called me today. I, I'm just like <laughs> I'm not I'm like to the point now that I don't even want to go to another small mom and pop. There's one that I was thinking about going to. But I started reading their reviews, and it was there was the, some of the people were saying the same thing, like they would have you in the truck twenty minutes or ten minutes, and then like if you make one mistake, cool you out and act like you can't do the can't do it, and then have you still waiting there week by week by week and still got to pay. Oh my god! So that I, I, I don't want to do with no company. I like I, that. I hate to hear this, man. You say Swift reached out to you, so you probably might be able to get in there and. And get your license, but I was like, I, I hate it. Everybody hate was like saying, "Don't go to school." Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I sorry. I I just hate to see I I just hate to see you waste your money. That's all. And dude just took it. Thanks. In my in yeah. my opinion, I my opinion. Just saying, I do have one. Uh, he just took advantage <laughs> of you. And yeah, if you didn't want a trainer, bro, just just say you didn't want a trainer. That's all. Just say she's a woman and you didn't want to train her instead of <laughs> in, in, instead of getting instead of, you know, conning her out of her damn money because of her. her he, he just used your desperate, your desperation, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, you know, he just yeah. used your, he so used, he said, yeah, to get, you know, the kind, you know, to get you out of your money. So, yeah. So you say Swift reached out to you. And uh, yeah, I had went back to Swift. I went mm -hmm. back to Prime. Prime said no because my Prime said no this time. Last time they were in December, they were going <laughs> this uh, um, and, um, yesterday they said no because of the fact that um, uh, my uh, permit expires in uh, in about 45 days. And they were like, once we get you do the approval and get you out here and all that. And once we get you on the road, because you got to do everything at Prime, they, they, you know, you got to go through everything. You can't get a shortcut, you know, in there. So um, they were like, by the time we get you out on the road, now that you won't, um, your permit would you know, your permit will be expired. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, so what? I'm it ain't, it ain't like I could just go. I, I, I can go and get me another permit. That ain't no big deal. 
yeah, yeah, I could, I could do that too. I could do that too, but I just, I don't want to do that. I don't feel like, but I could do it too. I, I, I know, I, I know. I trust me, I them. trust me. Them motherfucking fifty men. I mean, fifty questions on the general knowledge and the and the forty questions yeah. between the between the uh the 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 uh the air not the air brakes yeah air is it air brakes yeah air brakes and combinations yeah air brakes yeah. combination yeah and oh, oh, no. I, yeah. I passed that sucker that that general knowledge was the hardest one for me and I passed that sucker by one point one question Jeez, <laughs> I, I for four, five you, days. you just don't know I, I, I went one back question. I went back like <laughs> like two three times and and on the last time i was crying in the car like i only missed it by two yeah. i put it on my facebook i put that on my face i, oh, I no. put the crying emoji and i put it you know i only missed by two and my sister called me up bro you okay it was like yeah i'm okay she was, yeah, like, what you man. she was like what you crying for what's going on and i was like because i missed two questions on my general knowledge she was like nigga really Really? Get your grown <laughs> ass up and, 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 and get that damn shit done. I was like, all right, okay. <laughs> I understand. I understand, though. You know, when I was in the NBA, somebody got caught cheating. Somebody had a, had the book in there. <laughs> somebody had the book wide open, reading through the book and trying to answer the questions. What? They had to score him out. What? Yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. Yeah, I mean they they yep. well, when they, I went they, they took our they when I went they took our phones they they told us that we had to they well when I went I don't know how it is now but they uh they took our phones they told us that we had to turn what well, either well they took mine but I I think the uh -huh. when I talked to the other guy he said they made them turn their phones off so uh huh uh huh uh huh so yeah they don't yeah they yeah don't that's crazy though. They don't want you cheating. Mm -mm, nope. Nope. They stopped that test right away and walked that man up out of there. I was like, dang. It was a lot of people in there. Like, it was crowded in there. I was like, everybody time. And I, at the time, I didn't even know what was the urgency until my nephew he came visiting. He said, oh, well, February 7th, the rules are going to change. He's Ooh, like, so you, you better get yeah, on this now. It was, yeah, it was. It, yeah, it, it was when, when, when it came down the line, everybody, when I talked to uh, my old, my old school, they was like they had a surgeon <laughs> not a surgeon but a surgeon of of uh of people coming in it was like they had motherfuckers coming mm -hmm. in left and right like yo we fooled up for the entire year before february 7th mm -hmm. i was like what it was like yeah they they trying to get they trying to get in because they don't want to be you know they don't want to go through how fmcsa got it set up now but it's too late brothers sisters <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> FMCSA is taking over. They take it over. Oh man! I... <laughs> so okay. man, Kiki, yeah. Kiki, man, that's that's crazy. <laughs> but you know, you know, give uh, you know, Swift is giving you a try. When you when you uh heading out to to, to go to Swift? Uh, the fourth of next month. All right. Well, shout out to Swift. They gave me the twenty eighth and the fourth. Yep. Shout, shout out to Virginia again. Shout out to Swift. I mean, everybody, everybody oh, down to Swift. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, even when I went to mm -hmm. school, even when I went to school seven years ago, um, you know, everybody mm -hmm. was down talking Swift, Swift drive, you know, Swift did Swift that. But just like, you know, like I said before, as I got older into this game, I come to I come to recognize that it's not the company it's the drivers and maybe it's the drivers right and, and maybe some of the some of the drivers maybe they was trained wrong they wasn't trained right or whatever the case but it's the driver it's just unfortunate that the drivers give this company a bad name you know but it's not it's mm -hmm. not it's not the company but then again let me also put it like this swift gives people a lot of people uh the opportunity and the reason why they get the opportunity because they're self they're self-insured you know a lot of the companies mm -hmm. that you that you reach out to and be like yo um uh, that that says you gotta have like two years three years 
some of those companies are regulated by the insurance companies so if the insurance mm-hmm. company comes mm-hmm. back and say hey um that driver needs about two years before we can insure him to drive for you then that's what you're going to have to abide by swift on the other hand swift I don't understand why Prime didn't give you the give you the opportunity. Jeez, but uh, Swift. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm happy. I, I said, let me just take it. I said, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity. I heard the same things about Swift. You know, I always watch all the other podcasts. I they show all, all the stuff that Swift do, does wrong. But I said, you know, I, I said I'm gonna make the you know the best of it. Yeah. You know, the most of the time that I have to go and do it. You know, I got half of the battle one. I'm I'm good. I'm good on the pre trip and straight backing. So when we let's get to this uh, offset, so I can do it a hundred percent. You know, and to this um, uh, parallel and on that road. And that's it. That's what's you up, know? man. That's what's up. Again, like I said, that's Swift it. is Swift is self insured, so that's why they're able to you know give a lot of people opportunities i mean not not a lot of people uh you know not a lot of people you know a handful i'll I'll say a handful so you know just go in there concentrate Mm -hmm. uh just go in there listen go in there concentrate on what you need to do get it done as far as the uh as far as the trainers go um if you feel any kind of way with the trainer if you feel the trainer's not training you right you feel that the trainer is getting kind of fresh you feel that the trainer is 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 doing something kind of odd call your fleet manager or your driver trainer and just be like look um i'm not i'm not feeling right with this with this particular trainer can you put me with somebody else so that i can you know concentrate on doing what need to be done you know you don't have to be you know you don't have to be all out in the open you don't have to come on TikTok. you don't have to come on facebook you know we we had Mm -hmm. a big as a matter of fact we had a we just we just recently had a big blow up with everybody with a young lady coming on uh coming into the she trucking trucking group shout out to the she trucking trucking group but uh she came in there <laughs> and mm-hmm. and she pretty much in in my opinion because i do have one i'm just saying uh she came she came in and outed uh her trainer for being schizo schizophrenic and he's on you know he's on, yeah he's on um he's on schizophrenic medicine and the you know the guy told her and she felt that she wanted to come on now i understand she came on she came she to, to her she came that in, ain't cool right to her she came in to get, call herself to get advice whether or not she should get off the truck or whatever whatever i said in a in an unpopular opinion coming i said you shouldn't have did that what you should have did was call your fleet manager and talk to them about the situation because if he's on medicine i'm sure the company would know that he's on yeah. he's on that type of medicine you know what i'm saying yeah it should come out in his urine and, i'm thinking it should come right, out in his urine right you know he would well i don't think schizophrenia would come out in your urine but well, he, may, would, may, I don't, I feel, he would he would have to yet. he would have to you know kind of like say that on his medical card so of course the mm-hmm, company mm-hmm. the company is going to know that you know he's on medicine for schizophrenia and he was nice enough to tell you about it it's a conversation private conversation between you and him you could have came to your fleet manager and just tell them that hey i'm uncomfortable put me with somebody else instead of coming into a group on social media plat public platform and putting them out there she was like mm-hmm. well you know i didn't say his name in the company i was like baby girl it doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure out who you're talking about <laughs> on social media mm-hmm. that's why it's always not always good to 
to put things out on social media. I'm just saying. But uh, it was yeah. Or when they hear that truck, don't right. tell your business why you're on. <laughs> All right. So we you was know. you know it was you a on bit, the road. Yeah, it was a bit blow up over it. I, I I think it's still, I think it's still open. If it's still open, I'll I'll send you the. I'll send you the link of uh, the conversation. I, I don't know if it's still open or not because last time we tried to comment it in it, I think uh, one of the admins probably shut the post down. But uh, but okay. it was a, but it was a good conversation though. I mean, I was I was open to it. But uh, oh but, yeah. yeah, but it's uh, oh yeah. I deal with that every day. I deal with that at, with my you know in the government position every day. I deal with that every day. Yeah. So, so Kiki, man, thank you very much for coming on. You guys know the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. So Kiki, man, thank yep, you. Thank I you. really do appreciate it. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I had a great time with you today, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Me too. I am honored. I'm honored. Not, that you asked me to come on not a problem <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's that's what we do over here all right guys so that's going to do it thank you to kiki for coming on if you guys want to come on the lockout men podcast show y'all can do that hit the line 216-600-2090 and get at me and we'll set something up until next time everybody make sure you stay tuned until the next podcast we drop on the daily between 7 p.m eastern time and and 3 a.m. L.A. time. I don't know what time. I think that's what? Pacific over there, I guess? Okay, any day, you know. Mm -hmm. If y'all in L.A., y'all know I come on at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm just saying. All right, guys, y'all take it easy, and we are gone.